And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the interview with Thomas Hutchinson. Now, to give you some background on this interview, Thomas is a uh, senior at UC Davis. He's a great golfer there. He's uh, he represented them in the USGA, and uh, he's like he's he's pretty good. Uh, and so, I mean, he is he's gearing up for his final season at UC Davis and then hopefully finally heading into the PGA Tour. And so it's going to look really, really interesting to see uh, how, uh, how his career has gone and basically how this interview plays out, and I'm looking forward to it. And so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Hutchinson. But before we do that, I've got his Instagram in uh, plugged below. And so if you want to go check him out, it's there. This picture right now up here. If you want to check out my Instagram, it's in the bio. My Twitter in the description also. Um, but um, also, uh, if you are new here, please subscribe. And uh, But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, have a great day. And here is Thomas Hutchinson. Adios. How did you get into golf? Um, well, I was five years old, and my dad played a lot with his friends because he moved to the states a few years when I was a few years before I was born, and he just played a lot of golf with his friends. And then he brought me, my brother, and my sister out, and uh, decided to see if we'd like it. And we didn't even like it at first, which was pretty funny. Um, but once we started competing um when I was nine and my siblings were older than me we all loved it and then we all loved practicing with each other and it was something that brought us closer and we could have fun with uh you're at UC Davis great school up in uh in Davis obviously but um uh what drew you there uh actually my coach a lot well first off my sister who was two years older than me she went to Davis and she played golf for the women's team and being extremely close to her. She was a huge part of why I went to Davis and also just the, the head men's golf coach, Cy Williams at UC Davis, is just a great friend that I've become very close with. And he's just been huge to my development as, as a golfer and as a person. So that's exactly what I was looking for. Not to mention Davis's education and, um, being a top 10 public school in the, in the, in the world. It was just, uh, everything seemed to be the perfect fit for me there. how do you feel when you won uh 2018 big West freshman of the year? Um, I was happy. I was, I mean, honestly, I felt like I didn't play super great that year. Um, but it was nice to have recognition and it, it always feels good to, to achieve something. And, it kind of just gave me more um, motivation, so to speak, to, to kind of work harder and then get better. How do you feel about making the all Big West team this year? Um, great. Again, same thing. It just, you know, it's a lot of, it's nice to have recognition and it feels good when people notice your work, especially when you practice every day and you do your best and, even when things don't work out and then you come through and then have an achievement, it, it feels good. Thank you. Um, you have been quite on quite of a hot streak uh, this year, but uh, how did you feel about making uh, back to back top five finishes in the El Macero uh, classic in the big West championship and then the California amateur? Yeah. So that was, so to start the season, it was a little rough, but, Towards the end of it, I got a lot of momentum. Um, the game started to click. Everything started to feel good. And um, after Big West, it was good to get a top five. And then just to continue that at the the preserve at the Cal State Am, um, it really helped me figure that I was on the right track and gave me a lot of confidence, which I could just bring into my next events. So it just really kind of catapulted me into having a, a good summer. So you went to the United States Amateur at uh, Oakmont in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and you finished, you tied for 45th in stroke play. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, but what was the atmosphere like at the U.S. Uh, golf amateur? Oh, man, it's, 
unlike any 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 tournament in amateur golf it's so much fun um the stroke play was great but once he got into the match play it was people walking all around people yelling your name and walking down the fairways like you just never see that in a stroke play event and having that there is just so so much fun to see and it it makes you feel like everything's worth it everything that you you've worked for feels like lets you know you're you're doing the right thing what's next for your game um same old right now just keep working every day practicing uh doing my drills figuring out new ways to get better figuring out new ways to better my body and my mental to to get any kind of extra edge on my competition and right now future events is just college golf i've got one more year left um it's time to get some wins and do big things and get some momentum before professional golf what advice do you have for all my viewers um well if they're aspiring golfers aspiring athletes then you can't you can't be lazy you gotta you gotta work and you gotta do your best and you know you you're gonna have bad days and you're gonna have bad stretches in your sport and you just it'll get you down but you can't let it let it get to you and you just gotta work through it and uh do your best work harder than anyone you know and always be the hardest worker in the room so and you'll achieve. Thank you. And uh, Thomas Hutchinson, look out for him on the uh, PGA Tour and look out for him uh, at Davis next year. Uh, and so, you know, uh, good luck. Good luck with your studies in Thank economics you. and, uh, you know, have a have a great day. Perfect. Thanks, man. You too. Thanks for setting this up. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Great meeting you, dude. Adios. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Bye. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to After the Interview. And uh, I have to say thank you. Thank you, Thomas, uh, for the interview. Uh, again, his Instagram is in uh, the link below. His social links are in the link below. Uh, so I I really hope you guys can go out and uh, see him play. I'm going to make an attempt to go see him play this uh, fall or winter or spring. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to just see it play it by year. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you to Tom for all he's done, and thank you for being flexible, Tom. Honestly, I don't get many interviewees that are flexible like this, and so, you know, this is, it was great. Thank you. And, um, well, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, you can go check him out, and, uh, his Instagram has already been up, but I'll put it up there. That's his, uh, that's his little handle there, um, uh, HutchTom99, so if you want to go check him out. Please go follow him on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. Um, and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, so I hope you guys have a great day and, uh, let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great weekend. Adios.